Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the osteology of the capuchin monkey. Uh, to begin with, we have right up here at the top, we have the skull. Uh, if you'll notice, the eyes are forward-facing. They have binocular vision, excellent vision, very much like humans. Uh, then we have the mandible. If we were to take the mandible away, then this would be referred to as a cranium. But since it's all connected, the mandible is still here, it is referred to as the skull. Another interesting thing here is you notice that the vertebral column connects now more toward the back of the head into the occipital area, whereas in humans, it comes up from more from the bottom. Uh, they have large, aggressive canines. They have uh, teeth that are... Uh, made for uh, chew chewing, so they're omnivores. Uh, we look at here at the spinal column. They have, just like humans and basically all other mammals, they have seven cervical vertebrae. The first vertebrae is the atlas. The second one in here is the axis. Uh, we come down a little further, and then we have this section in here, and these are the thoracic vertebrae. Uh, the thoracic vertebrae are connected to right through here are the thoracic cage. They have two sets of floating ribs, very much like humans. Uh, we get to the forelimb. They have the forelimb and the, and the hind limb. The forelimb, they have the scapula. This nice bony ridge we see across here is the spine of the scapula. They have humerus, very much like we do in our upper arms. This is our humerus bone. And in our lower arms, and also on the, the capuchin monkey, we have the radius. We have the ulna coming up here. The uh, head of the ulna is down in this area. The olecranon's back here, which would be in our elbow. Then down in here, we have the carpals. After the carpals, we have the metacarpals, and then we have the phalanges. Uh, very much like humans, the hands are almost identical. So in the phalanges, we have the proximal, the medial, and the distal. On each of the fingers, with the exception of the thumb, the thumb is uh, missing its medial phalange, uh, same as the humans. Then we come up here again, we have the clavicles, and we have the sternum, and very, very much the same. Then we get here, it's the lumbar. And we come down to the sacrum. The sacrum is right in here. And humans, we have the coccyx bone, but in the monkey, these are caudal bones. Uh, and that would be where the tail is. Then we have right through here, we have the pelvis. Uh, it's much longer than the human pelvis, and it doesn't quite have the full bowl shape of the human pelvis. It's much easier for monkeys and the apes to give birth they have a much easier birth canal. Then we get to the upper leg. The upper leg, we have the ball and socket joint. We have the great trochanter here. Then we, this is the femur bone. And the femur, we down, down here we have the patella. And the lower limb is the tibia. Outside bone here is the fibula. And then in here, in this area, we have the tarsals. Uh, the, area that sticks out in the back here is the calcaneus and then we have the metatarsals and again just like in the human and also in the hands we have the phalanges. Uh, the big toe is an opposable toe and but it is still missing the medial phalange uh, just like in our th the thumb that we see up top. Uh, a couple of interesting things. The majority of the time, the capuchin monkey is a quadruped, although they do have the capability and will frequently walk on their hind legs, but they cannot do it over great distances. The, uh, they would be classified more as plantigrade, uh, like humans, because they would not be up on their toes. Their hands and feet would be flat to the ground. Um, and so you'll notice too that uh, the, their rib cage, the thoracic cage, is a little bit narrower through this top here and a little bit wider as it comes down. So it's, it's narrow this way, thicker this way. And the 
scapula sit more to the side and not so much on the back. In humans, it's more uh, direct on the back. So they're, they spend a lot more of their time on all fours. Uh, then we have here, we have, as you can see, this is a human hand. And you can see that their hand is basically the same as ours. It just fits into proportion with their body. They have the radius, the ulna, the carpals, the metacarpals, all the phalanges. Uh, they're same with when you get into the thumb area, they're missing just like us. You can see we, how we both are missing the medial phalange. Um, very, very similar to the humans in many, in many ways. The back foot and the human foot, you can see uh, a, somewhat of a bit of a difference here because they have an opposable big toe. We have the same structure, but their form, they're meant to grasp onto trees, branches. Uh, they spend a lot of their time up in the, up in the upper canopies. So they, this is very important that they have that opposable big toe. It's one big difference from us. We are designed more to cover great distances. They're designed more to spend a lot more time and be more successful in the trees. So that's a little bit of the information regarding the comparative anatomy between the capuchin monkey and the human. Very similar.